Hello everybody, this is Jesse. I'm going to show you how to change the background in your Drupal Garden site. Starting with the carbon theme, go over and click the Styles tab. When the Styles tab has come up, go ahead and click on the background. You can see my mouse over on the left hand side here. You'll notice that I have the power theming in the right hand corner here turned on. If you turn it off, the theme builder looks like this. We're going to turn it on so that we have access to this little puck that says Site Background. I'm going to click that puck, and now the body of the page, the background, has been selected. So we'll go down here to the Background Vertical tab, and you'll notice that there's a color on the background and a background image. We're just going to replace that image. I've already gone and created an image for this uh, example. You would have to create one for your own project. That image is going to load up into your website and get replaced. And you'll see that the image down here was replaced with the new one. Now this is not quite centered and in the exact position where we want it. So what I'm going to do is go over to the advanced tab and put in a little CSS to get this background image positioned exactly where we want it. So I click in the text area, and I'm going to type body. The background image has been attached to the body. That's what we selected with the site background puck. And I'm going to type background position. I would like this background to be in the center. And just for the moment, I'm going to say whoop, to the top. And you'll notice that it's a little bit too far behind the content at the moment. So what I'm going to do is just pull it up a little bit. Maybe 100 pixels is who that is. It looks fairly nice. I bet I could get the content, though, to come down a little bit farther and, and show off that image better. So I'm going to update that advanced CSS that we put in and go back to the Styles tab. Now I'm going to select this banner. It doesn't quite matter what I select at the moment because we're going to use the pucks down here to, to get that um, one of the ancestors to this banner in, in the DOM or the document object. But all you need to know is that we want to select the content. I'm going to deselect the banner region, the links, and images. And what that has done is just selected the content at this point. I'm going to go over to borders and spacing and increase the top margin on the content and that's going to bring the content down right to there so we can actually see that background image a bit better. And I think I'm going to pull it up just a little bit more. Maybe another 10 pixels. Let's try 20. This is where the details really become important. Let's try 5. Perfect. Love it. And I'm updating that code. And the last thing I want to do, just so that this site doesn't look so, so gray, I'm going to come back here. I'm on the Styles tab. I'm going to click on the background. And here we're going to select the site background puck again. And then come to the background sub tab. There's a little color selector box here. And at this point, I can try different colors on my background. I'm going to click this little plus over on the side here to create my own color. I'm really into purples and fuchsias lately. So let's try something like that. Maybe a little too vivid. Perfect. And I'll click the OK button at the bottom here just to get my selection in. And from here, I can save my theme as a, as a different theme to keep it in my themes um, directory. And that is how you change the background on a Drupal Gardens theme.